Newark making history today, becoming the first city in New Jersey to lower the voting age to 16 for school board elections. The council's approval makes Newark the second largest city in the country to enact an ordinance like this. Advocates have long said the move will help boost turnout. Newark's participation has hovered around just 3% in the last few years. And it's a move the state is now considering following. Senior political correspondent David Cruz has the story. It was former Mayor Ken Gibson who once famously said, wherever America's cities are going, Newark will get there first. It was with that in mind that today's ordinance to give 16 and 17 year olds the right to vote in school board elections attracted activists and students on whom the significance was not lost. Many like social changes occurred here, so I think it would be a great landmark, a great landmark place to like we can maybe be the, um, as you can say, like the blueprint, like other, other cities can look at us and be like, oh, we can see 16 year olds are voting. That means there must be something, there must be a reason why they're voting. There must be a good reason they gave them why they should vote. And that should be like a, a domino effect happening everywhere else. Being 16 shouldn't downplay what I could do as an individual, but it should like motivate 16 year olds to come out and speak about issues they want to talk about. Brianna and Nathaniel are part of Vote 16 Newark an affiliate of Vote 16 New Jersey, co-founded by two other Jersey kids who just happened to get a shout out from the governor yesterday as he endorsed a state law that would match the Newark ordinance. This is a proposal inspired by two bright young leaders with us today, Anjali Krishnamurti and Yen Jae Hu. That must have been a, uh, a kick yesterday, getting uh, shouted out by the governor. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, seeing how far we've come and the amount of support that we've seen across the state, it's amazing to have the governor's support. We are an advocate generation, and we've decided that we have that civic responsibility and go out into the world and to participate. It is so important that it happened here. It is the largest city in the state. It is a majority black and brown city. And you know, as we when we look at this moment, we need to keep that in mind, that we are watching all around the country people, uh, lawmakers work to suppress the vote, um, to oppress people's say, and it's often targeting black and brown voters. And to be sure, this coalition, which includes the New Jersey Institute for Social Justice and others, sees this as a test case. If 16 and 17 year olds can vote for school board, why not mayor or Congress or state legislature? And that argument met with skepticism from some lawmakers. But they can't smoke until they're 21. I mean, the reality is we had student government when I was in school. If you wanted to get into that whole political thing, you ran for student government. 18 is the age of majority in this country. Uh, and I know that my mindset was much different at 16 than it was at 18. There's no benefit to it, or the, the well, well, like, Democrats just trying to get more voters? That yeah, the that's exactly it. Uh, look, it's, it's, it's clear when, you know, you know the old saying, if you're, uh, you know, when you're very young, if you're not a Democrat, uh, you have no heart. If you're not, when you get a little older, a Republican, you have no brain. Like it or not, the kids are coming. And today might just be looked back upon as one small step for some kids, one giant leap for a democracy. In Newark, I'm David Cruz and James Spotlight News.